why I left the Legion. And more importantly, how? What transpired? You know, people were asking, they're like, well, you're kind of in the civilian world, this and that. Yeah. But I was also, you know, you got to let some things play out. It's just name of the game. Well, when I started, I had this message. I knew getting on this social media and this YouTube, I knew it was going to be a, I projected it to be a problem, but I figured, well, I figured it was probably going to take a little time for, to get a little traction or to even get, and by that time I'd be out. I mean, my contract's pretty much, would have been done or pretty much done anyway. And so I kind of started, I knew I needed, I, I knew I had some stuff to say that would help some people. And that's proved to be very correct. And I know this message is correct. And so I started down that path. You know, when I knew I could get myself right by these daily disciplines, by this deliberate thought process, by these deliberate actions and these deliberate habits to pull me out of the pit of the abyss I was in and feeling so terrible. Oh man, it felt like a gift. It felt like a calling from God that I needed to do it. And it's not that I'm some chosen person. It's not that. It's that I'm an offering. I was, I was brought very low and brought back out of it or shown a way out of it. And I felt it was my duty to show people the same thing. So I started, put a couple videos out. And I thought, man, it might be some problems. And guess what? It was. I was, I get a call from the Legion, you know, police or NCIS pretty much. They said, take your stuff down. And I said, no. <laughs> Straight up. I said, no. And... That obviously is not going to go well. I knew it was going to cause some problems. So I went the above board route. Some people say it's not about, I got a lawyer, figured out, you know, in French law, well, you know, what they could push me on. And they were throwing the book at me. They were going to put, they came into my room, locked everything up. I was actually on vacation when I got the call because I was taking care of an injury. I was actually in the hospital they get a call. And they said, you know, take your stuff down, come report to the Legion police when you come in. And I said, okay, well, I, I organized my administrative side and I wasn't going to do that because they were going to lock me on the base. They were going to hold me down there and who knows what, right? It was not going to be a pleasant situation. I'm training, I'm doing stuff. I'm, and so I got a lawyer, we lawyered up, we figured out what I was going to do. They give me a stop work period where we can kind of get this figured out. I was away from the base at a private residence trying to fight this and still, still on paperwork. Still, they knew where I was and they know the whole deal. And it was a, a ad, admin battle, which I hate super lame, but it is what it is. And they, they were still coming hard. They said, look, you got to come back and we're going to give you Back to back to back 30 day jail sentences. And then I would be mandatorily admin separated if I didn't take it down because that was pretty much denying a, an order, which, which sometimes you got to grab your nuts and fight for what you think. Some people may not agree with what I did or what I, what, you know, they take your social media down. Uh, uh, man, some things are bigger than, bigger than the Legion, bigger than me. Right, the little legion rules. Are you? I'm not staying in career. I never wanted to. People ask you to stay. No, absolutely not. I was not going to stay in the foreign legion as a career. It was not what I wanted. Right, I'm not going to say anything bad. I always take the high road, but that's not what I wanted. Right, I had bigger plans, or more important plans, as I see it, which is helping people and using my experience to really talk to people and and pull people from some pretty low points. The military was not the be all end all for me. You know, I had, it was great stepping stone. They were great periods of evolution. I needed, I was grateful for the Legion, right? But I was also grateful for the opportunity to help people on a massive, in a massive way. And I wasn't going to take my stuff down, not after the traction was already going. It wasn't going to happen. Out of the door, the question, out of the question. 
So I continued to fight it. It was going on. They said, well, if I didn't want to do that, the lawyers and the, so I was getting the word that the only way I was going to be able to process out early from my contract was if I get a pretty much like a psychological separation with some medical, like I was mentally distressed and they had to let me go. And I was going to have to go to a psychologist and a psychiatrist and all this bullshit. And I wasn't going to fucking do that. I wasn't mentally distressed. I'm not going to go. I didn't need the paperwork. I don't need French citizenship. I didn't need the carte de jour, the residence card. I didn't want it. I, and I wasn't going to jail for back to back to back jail sentences. Because guess what? My loyalty is not to France and it's not to the Legion. It's the United States. Always has been, always will be. Grateful for the Legion. I would have fought, fought for him and done whatever I needed to do, but I'm not going to jail for my YouTube. Bottom line. And I'm not taking it fucking down. That was just how it's, how it's happening. We're all in some big, we're all in this together. I told you you'd be on this path with me together. And we are. I'm transparent about it. Some people may not like it or agree with it. I really felt in my heart it was the right thing to do. So I left. It was a forced desertion. That's what it was. A forced desertion. I don't have, uh, they didn't want anything from me. I don't want anything from them. That was pretty much, it was pretty much just a strong admin sep. They are like, okay, you do you, we'll do, we'll do us. Because there was no agreements about to happen. There was no me going back and working at the regiment. I was done anyway. There was no more deployments on the deck and I only had eight months left, right? I had eight months left and I was going to be Moving trucks around the base. That's pretty much what I was going to be doing until, until I left. And I wanted to be working on this and that wasn't going to happen there. And that was, that ship had sailed and it was going to be absolutely, they weren't going to be letting no freedom of movement, jail, kicked out. It was going to be all bad. So the best thing to do, cleanly separate, I left. So in case there was any lack of clarity, that's about as clear as I can make it. Sometimes you got to fight for what you believe in. It's not always pretty. People want this redemption story to be walking out with your... Man, even, redemp even stories of redemption aren't fucking fairy tales. This is life, man. Shit gets messy. People have disagreements. Institutions have different disagreements with, with single entities. It's how it rolls. Sometimes to make a fucking omelet, you got to break some fucking eggs. That's how it goes. You can't always follow the rules. Follow the law. Don't be a dick. But man, sometimes you got to break some rules to get some shit done. So. So I'm in the United States. And I'm full bore on the coaching. The coaching business is taking off. I have 150 clients all over the world. Prior military, firefighters, LEO, civilians. All doing better disciplined, feeling better, marriages saved, lives saved, weight lost. I know I'm on the right path, right? I get messages all the time from people who are going to take their lives that didn't, that said watching one of these videos helped them. And you know what? I'm not taking that shit down for anybody. I don't care who the fuck tells me. I'm grateful for the Legion. Always will be. And I'll say nothing but positive things. Even here, I'm not ripping on them. I understand their position. They can't control the narrative. I hadn't said anything negative about the Legion, but they didn't know if I would go off the deep end of one day, I'd do. I would never. All about taking that high road, and I'm still grateful for them, right? But we had a disagreement. It was irreconcilable differences. That's just how it goes down sometimes. And you got to stand your ground. Can't cave. That's the way I viewed it. That's, I really truly know in my heart that it's the right path. I'm grateful for all of you. We're going to continue this every Monday and Thursday. These are going up. If anybody needs to get in contact with me, well, I'm in San Diego right now, North, North County, Marietta, to be specific at this current moment, and loving it. Really grateful for the autonomy back and the ability to help more people, to have more time to dedicate to this calling.
which I know to be mine. And I'm fully committed. I'm fully committed to anybody that reaches out to me. I'm fully committed to my own self-development to make sure I stay on point because I can't preach shit or promote shit if I don't live it. That's why this shit resonates because the people, the real ones that understand my message and it resonates with, they see it. They see that fire in my eyes that's real. The people that follow me on Instagram, they see me get up at two every day, post my my Mike Tyson push-ups and stuff at three o'clock in the morning. Hour of the Tiger, 3.30, right? Sometimes 2.30 if I'm feeling froggy. Just to show all the time that we live this, we have to institute that discipline on yourself. Get right. Show up when you hear that calling to be better for yourself and everybody else. Man, so worth it. So worth it. So excited about this year. It's going to be big things. Watch what happens. It's going to be big movements. Massive success across the board. We're not talking about just financial. Man, we're talking about spiritual growth. At maximum capacity. We're talking about relationships. Coming together and developing. Evolving. The evolution of man. The evolution of self. Really embrace it this year. We'll be in it together. Anybody that needs to get a hold of me, look at, you got all my contact info in that bio, as well as in the description of the video. Love y'all. We'll keep this rolling. Thank y'all for your support. Let's get it. Be smart. Out here.